Hello. Hi. Hi, Vivu. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. I cannot see you. Oh. oh. There you go. Hi. Hi. Okay. How was your day? It's okay. What did you do? I'm playing. I'm playing with V2 and learn English. You played with V2 and learn English? Yes. Mm, that's great. What, what did you play with V2? I play high and sick or uh, uh, bright man's buff, buff. Wow, that's good. <laughs> All right. And then what did you eat for lunch today? I mean dinner, I, sorry. Um, I eat meat and rice. Meat and rice. Oh, all right. <laughs> and how's the weather outside today? It's stormy. Stormy? Oh. Yes. The, oh, does it rain there all day? No, it, it's rain in the it's right in the evening oh evening like oh i see okay so make sure that um you take extra good care and be careful okay okay all right so tonight we will we will continue with your lesson from our last tuesday's discussion so last Tuesday, we learned about this one, letters to a friend. Okay, so okay. where you, you listened to, um, to Tati, um, wrote a letter to her best friend, Nisha. So in this one, um, what we're looking is the sequence of events. Okay, what happened first, second, next, and last. Okay. okay, so let's try to do this one here. I want you to look at here, this one. What is the order of events in this, oops, sorry, in this story, I mean, in this one. What is the order of events? Like what happened first? Wait. Okay. It's it's sad he is write a letter to Nisha. Mm -hmm. What's the can you see like First, can you use the transition words like first? Oh, first, first is first is first son new and she's box and then uh, and then she went sledding with Adam Millie. Mm -hmm, very good. Um, they, next, and then, yes. Next, they went ice skating, mm -hmm. and, and and then uh, and then Emily and what one up she Bollywood favorite movies mm -hmm. mom uh, her mom made me like it okay so as you can see um this is like just an example of sequence of events okay so again this is letters to a friend okay so here mm -hmm. Okay. So I will let you listen again so that we can answer this one because this is about Sati. Okay, so I want you to listen again, okay? 
Page 30. Read. Letters to a Friend. July 25th. Dear Nisha, moving is hard work. Mom and I are still unpacking boxes. She and I were packing them just eight weeks ago. Your picture is on my desk. I miss you. Our new house is in a town called St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's very quiet compared to Mumbai. The weather in July is warm and sunny, and there are no rainy monsoons. Sunil and I can play together, but I don't have any friends here. Meeting neighbors isn't easy for me. School starts in September. Dad started his new job as a surgeon at the hospital here. He's happy working here. I'm not happy. I just feel lonely. Please write soon. Your best friend, Sati. October 15th. Dear Nisha, I really miss you. The weather is getting much colder. The leaves are falling from the trees. Sunil and I rake leaves every Saturday in our yard. It's hard work. I go to Maple Hill Elementary School. I'm the only student from India in my class. Today, a boy said that my lunch smelled funny. It was my mom's lentil curry, which is my favorite. I couldn't say anything because I was so angry. I don't like it here. I want to go back to Mumbai. Your best friend, Sati. January 12th. Dear Nisha, it snowed 30 centimeters last night. Today, Sunil and I threw snowballs and went sledding with Emily. Emily is my neighbor and my classmate. We went ice skating last week on a lake. Someone made a hole in the ice and was fishing. It was so cold. Tonight, Emily and I watched one of my favorite Bollywood movies. Mom made curry. Emily liked it. Your best friend, Sati. April 5th. Dear Nisha, happy birthday. I miss you so much. Guess what? I'm taking tap dance lessons with Emily. I'm happy to be dancing again. On Saturday, we went to Minneapolis. Emily came with us. Emily and I went shopping for clothes. We ate at a fun restaurant there. We had so much fun. Emily, Ashley, and Rachel are coming over on Sunday to work on our science project. I'm making some good friends. Your best friend, Sati. Okay. June 20th. Dear Nisha, school is over, but I'm getting ready to go to summer camp with Emily. We can go fishing, swimming, hiking, and canoeing there. I'm so excited. The weather is warm and sunny again. When can you visit me in Minnesota? There are so many fun things to do here. My new friends want to meet you, too. Please come. Your best friend, Sati. Okay, so there you go. So those are the letters from Sati to her best friend, Nisha. Okay. All right, so let's try to answer here. Um, think about Sati's letter. Which one is your favorite and why? Which one is your favorite? Um... My favorite is October. 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 Why? What happened there? Um, because uh, um, no, it's January because it's cold, and says he can play with the ice. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so in here. Let's try to look at this one here. I want you to put the events in order. Write okay. the number for each sentence on the timeline. So I want you to answer that one, just like this one. Eight, this is eight, it's unpacked boxes. That's July is eight and five, so that's move to Minnesota and unpack boxes. Okay, so I want you to write the number for each sentence on the timeline. Go. Okay.
away. Oh, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, I mm, click. Mm, I did. I click in. Okay. I, okay. You can write it again. Okay. I'm finished. Okay, let's try to check. Okay, so October, you answered two and nine. So went shopping for clothes and racked, raked leaves. Okay. <laughs> it's one. Brought curry to school and... Rake leaves. And rake leaves. Okay, at least you got um, a correct answer. And on January, okay, you're correct. So went ice skating and went sledding. Okay, that's right. And then in April, okay, so this one is the two. So they went shopping for clothes and and did a science project. Wow, very good. And on June, we have it here. Okay, so you're correct. It's they went to a summer camp and school ends. Okay, there you go. Okay. So as you can see, we have it here, different season. This is summer, summer. This is fall. Oh. Winter. Okay. 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 Rainy season. So that's in Minnesota. Okay. So there you go. All right. Thank you so much for that. Okay. So now let us continue. So okay. here, answer the questions. So here, why is Sati in Minnesota? It's because Sati moved there with her family because her father has a new job in the hospital. And then how about number two? Can you write your answer? How did oh. her feelings change through the year? It, it happy through the year oh it's miss miss nisha through the year it, okay can you please read that one okay in the beginnings 
Sati didn't like Minnesota. She missed Mumbai. Sati met, met new people and started doing new things. Then she was happy. Okay, so in the beginning, Sati didn't like Minnesota. She missed Mumbai. And then Sati met new people and started doing new things. Then she was happy. Okay, now how about number three? Why did her feelings change? We don't know. You don't know? Yes. Okay, please read. Her feeling changed because he, she made she, her feeling changed because she made new friends. Okay, so her feelings change because she made new friends. Okay, so remember um when it's her first time like moving um, when it's um in the beginning she didn't like Minnesota because like it's her first time there. She don't know the people, she doesn't have a lot of friends, but now she like because she made new friends. Okay, so that is what happened to Sati through the year. Okay, as you can see, first is she did not like Minnesota. And then after she liked, she liked it now because she made a lot of friends. Okay. All right, here. Words in context. Okay, so match a word with a picture. Number one, monsoon. Mm -hmm. When I say monsoon, this is somehow similar to storm or typhoon. Okay, okay. can you please? Okay. Monsoon. Okay. Sure. It's and it is is curry and is crossway okay i'm finished okay so monsoon let's try to check okay sir john this is a doctor okay very good Mm, curry. Okay. And then classmate. Okay, very good. Great job. Okay, so that's it. Um, what happened to Sati in the um, letters to a friend? Okay, so here I want you to listen and you can sing along. Page 33. Okay. Grammar in use. D. Listen and sing along. I can ice skate. When I was much younger, I couldn't do much at all. I couldn't ride a bike and I couldn't catch a ball. But now that I am older, my life is really great. I can ride a bike and catch a ball, and I can ice skate. When I was much younger, I couldn't do much at all. I couldn't ride a bike, and I couldn't catch a ball. is really great. I can ride a bike and catch a ball and I can ice skate. Okay, so I we have it here, the grammar and the grammar can and could. So okay. here I couldn't and then I can. Okay, so this one today, um, we will 
um, continue with, or we will learn about the grammar, can and could. Okay, so here, read the okay. sentences. So which sentence is about what the person can do now? Okay. I can I couldn't ride a bike. I can I can ride a bike. So which sentence is about what what it, a, it's me. What okay, it's I me. can ride a bike. Okay, as you can see, we have it here. I can ride a bike. Okay, very good. Great job. Okay. Okay, so now here, let's learn about grammar, can and could. Here, can tell us, can you please write this one so that you can remember in your notebook? Please okay. write. Okay, um, wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, so we have it here. Can tells us what someone knows how to do now in the present, okay? Again, okay. when we say can, it tells us what Someone knows how to do now, like right now in the present. Oh, okay. for example, I can read. Okay, I can read. I can read. It means that I I know how to read now. Okay. Okay. And we have okay. it here. Could could tells us what someone knew how to do before in the past. Okay. That's the difference between can and could. Could tells us what someone knew, meaning oh. that person already knew about that before in the past. Okay. 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 Okay, so that's it. Look at this one. Okay. Then... And now, okay, can you please read the sentences okay. there? Wait, it's Sati couldn't ice skate. Saki could play with Nisha. Mm -hmm. Now, Sati can, can ice skate. Sati can't play with Nis Nisa. Mm -hmm. Ni Nisha. Nisha. Yeah, Nisha. Okay, so as you can see then, that was before, Sati couldn't ice skate, couldn't, could not, could not, okay. Sati could play with Nisha, Sati could play with Nisha, so it means that Sati um, okay. knew how to play with Nisha in the past, or Sati Play with Nisha in the past. Okay. 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 And then now, Sati can ice skate. Sati can't play with Nisha. So look at this one. Sati can ice skate. This is what Sati can do in the present. And okay. Sati cannot, meaning Sati cannot longer play with Nisha because Nisha is in Mumbai and Sati is in Minnesota. Okay. okay. All right. So now let's try to circle the correct word here. So I want you to circle okay. the correct word. For example, when I was five years old, I couldn't uh, oh. ride a bike. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. okay. Please. When I was five years old, I can't. I couldn't ride a bike. Now I'm eight. I can ride a bike. When I was younger, I couldn't catch a ball. Now I can catch a ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm eight and I can ride a bike. Okay, look at this one, Vivu. When I was five, so this was like when he was five years old, that was before. Okay, he couldn't ride a bike. Now I'm eight in the present. I can, okay. meaning he can now ride a bike. Okay. When I was younger, I couldn't catch a ball. Yes, because that was before you were still young. It means that you cannot catch a ball. But now, it means now in the present, I can catch a ball. Okay. okay? So there you okay. go. Okay, so that's how you use can, can, cannot, could, and couldn't in a sentence. Okay, so now it's okay. your turn to make a chart like this one. Okay. Like you will write when I was younger and then now. Okay. Can you please make something like that and then um, we will check after. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay, I'm right. Okay, you're right. Okay. You can just like write um like um, two like just like the one in the example. Okay. 
wait, wait. Okay. Oh, since it's time already, we will. Okay. I'll give that one as your homework. Okay. And then we'll check it next week in our next class. So okay. I want you to make like three, okay? Three okay. when I was younger and three sentences in now. Okay? Oh. Okay. All right. So you can take a screenshot of this one so that you can have a copy. Finish? Yes, finish. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for your time, Vivo. And I'll check your work in our next class next week, okay? Okay. Thank you and bye-bye.